I'm Donna Davis, and here we are with the Prayer Shawl Ministry Group, and this is another Inside St. Paul. And with me this evening is Stephanie Bowser, who is the head Prayer Shawl crochet. Well, I don't know about head. <laughs> I, I, I organize things, maybe. That would be what my function is, really. Tell us a little bit about what does the Prayer Shawl Ministry do? Well, Prayer Shawl Ministry um, makes shawls and lap robes um, and also baby blankets but the lap robes and the shawls specifically for individuals who are convalescing who are undergoing chemotherapy who are in nursing homes perhaps um, grieving because we hope and pray that the shawls will bring comfort and aid those individuals um, in recovery. And do you crochet or knit or? We do both. Uh, we have some um, avid knitters. Sabrina Wagner is one. Um, most of the rest of us crochet. Do you knit? Mm -hmm. Yes. Wilma knits. Uh, but Marion crochets. Crochet. And uh, Karen crochets. And Joan crochets. Okay. And I can do both, but I prefer to crochet, um, although these are the folks that are behind the needles the most of the time. Do you have to be a member of St. Paul to be a part of this group? No, we have um, a member, Dorothy, who is from another church, and she has joined the group um, and has contributed quite a bit, including cozy caps. We make cozy caps for uh, kids with cancer. Is that a cozy cap down there? It's a teeny the tiny one. The teeny tiny one. Yeah. Well, some babies are. Really That's tiny. right. Right. So it's teeny tiny, but it stretches. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> and we have other people who make shawls and baby blankets, who are actually friends uh, of the congregation. So you don't have to be a member of the church to even to be a recipient of any of your gentle loving hands. No. That's great. And well, how often do you meet? We meet once a month on the first Tuesday at uh, 5.30 in the upper room. And anyone who is interested is more than welcome to become a part of our group. Uh, in fact, we would love to have additional hands. Um, I know the befrienders have uh, called upon us from time to time. And I know Gus wants us to get a little more involved with the befrienders so that we can give out additional shawls and lap robes. Um, and so we need more active hands. When, when you get finished with all these beautifully and, and colorful shawls, what do we do with them? I think we, we bless them during the church service, don't we? Yes, we do bless them. Um, we don't do it, you know, every month. We do one or twice um, a year. Um, and we attempt to make sure that we do it at both services if there are two. Um, we have a blessing that's coming up in June. Um, I'm not quite sure. We're kind of going back and forth between the 19th and the 26th, but it's going to be one of those two Sundays. And so we hope that there will be a lot of folks present for the blessing. And you get thank you notes too, I bet. Oh, we do. Some of them are very, very touching. So we have a whole booklet here of thank you notes and cards that were received by the people who have been recipients. Uh, one of the nicest things I heard one time uh, after a blessing ceremony, as I was standing in the Welcome Center, some people were leaving the church and they were very obviously visitors and they said, isn't this a nice church? So I think uh, indeed it is. So I think it's almost about time for the worship service to begin. So. We better end this. Okay, thank you.